Hey everyone, just going to run you through this week of training. It's the last week of training before I test next week. Um, 14th week of jacked and tan. Hit a lot of good three and five rep maxes this week. So this is Monday. Squatting on Monday, I worked up to 425, which is 10 pounds less than my current one rep max right now. And that's uh, 435, and I hit it pretty clean. So these 425 reps, they look pretty good. They were decently fast. They did feel quite heavy, though, when I was doing it. Got pitched forward just a little bit more than what I'd like on that last rep, but all in all, new three rep max. Pretty satisfied with the new three rep max. It could have been a little bit better. Feeling a little bit beat up this week, so I'm going to take a few extra days off before next week when I test, and hopefully my recovery will allow me to lift a little bit more. Um, did my back off work and got these front squats. The front squats come along, so the twice a week practice with the front squat, it's really helping out. And you'll see in a few minutes when um, I get a new rep max with the front squat. So get to Tuesday, I'm warming up, and my elbow is actually feeling about 100%. I've been having some pretty bad elbow pain in my left elbow. So warming up, I took it a little bit further than what I would have without my slingshot. I went up to 315 raw. I'm also not wearing wrist straps on this because I just wanted to see what I was capable of doing without any wrist straps. So this is 315, and I hit it, paused, the clean pause, nice and long. The rep was speedy, and it felt great. So very happy with the bench. That's coming along so awesomely that I'm, I'm shocked. I'm amazed at my own performance with that. And I think it has a lot to do with the fact that I moved to flat-footed benching so then I can get a little bit more leg drive. I have moved my grip out just about two to three inches, and I'm also using my slingshot much more frequently. So this right here is 365 on the bench. It was only planned for 350, but the, the 350 or 355, whatever it was planned for, um, it felt pretty light. And so I just went to 365, and then that's when I did my rep out, and I got four reps. Uh, felt pretty good about that rep out, getting very close to hitting 405 with a slingshot. So really excited with the bench press, like I was saying. Did my back off work. Elbows still feeling really great at this point in time. So I'm doing some extra long pauses because I had taken some time off from training pause work. So the extra long pauses, I usually don't pause that long, but you know, I just kind of wanted to see where I was at. So we get here to Wednesday on the deadlifts, and it was only supposed to be something like 495 this week, but last week I did 495 because deadlift felt really good. So I go up to 515 this week, a 20 pound jump. And this right here won my best conventional deadlift before this last Wednesday it was only 505. So this beats my old one rep max by 10 pounds and it adds two more reps. Very happy with the deadlift. Um, I think it has a lot to do with my strength finally coming together with the pulling conventionally and I've moved my belt up a little bit higher so it's a little bit more comfortable. Um, but we'll see whether or not I actually beat my best sumo pull which is only 535. I'm sure I will. We'll see how the training materializes next week. Did the back off squats. I was exhausted. So I wore my belt for something that I usually don't wear my belt on. And uh, this is Thursday, doing my military presses here. This is 185. I get five, but the last two reps I'm not very satisfied with. The lockouts just wasn't there, I feel, especially on the last rep. So I did 180 for four last week, 185 for five this week. It may have only really been 185 for three. My left elbow really started acting up on Thursday. And it might just have to be with the, the deadlift and squat combo that I do on Wednesday. It might just be too much for my, my bicep and my elbow joint to bear. So Thursdays have been pretty rough for the last couple of weeks. Friday, front squat. This is 315, which is my current one rep max. Well, it was my current one rep max. So took about 45 minutes stretching out on Friday, making sure that I could get into a good position for my front squat and finally put some real strength into it without getting it robbed by being in a bad position because of mobility flexibility issues. So all that stretching really paid off because I turned my one rep max into a three rep max and that feels really good. Did my back off deadlifts. You can see the higher belt placement that I'm talking about here. So two things with my conventional deadlift. I moved my stance out just two to four inches or so and I moved my belt up higher. 
I was talking about that last week, and I think that higher belt position just allows me to get, I feel tighter and I feel like in more comfortable position. So this is today's bench press session. My elbow is about 7 out of 10 on a pain scale, so it was feeling significantly worse than Tuesday. I still managed to get 325 for 3 on the on the bench, and the pauses, not too satisfied with the pauses. They're not like USAPL pauses where you can change outfits underneath the bar between press commands, but you know, they're not too bad. Um, another thing that happened with the bench today is like my feet got slid out further than what I would have liked to, so I couldn't utilize the sort of leg drive that I have been putting into my bench, and that kind of prevented me from getting as tight and performing as well as I feel I could have done with that 325 today. So this is my last week of training. Next week's going to be testing. I'm probably going to take Sunday and Monday off, maybe test squat on Tuesday, take Wednesday off, test bench on Thursday, and then test deadlift next Saturday. Kind of use it as a sort of micro deload, and then the week after that I'll take it easy, no heavy weights or anything like that. But the strength is materializing. It's been a very long training block. So I'm really hoping to see some big numbers next week. Stick around, you'll see what they are. Thanks for watching.